As a service technician, if you've ever come across a broken ECM motor in an air handler or a furnace, you probably cringe. They can be difficult to find, they're very expensive, and it can often mean that your customer is left without heat or air conditioning for a day or more while you wait for a replacement to come in. It's just not economical to carry every model of ECM on your truck. The Quick Swap V3 is the solution to that problem. It controls a three-speed PSC motor and can be used as a direct replacement to the 16-pin ECM or a 4-pin ECM. And it's economical enough to carry on your truck. What we have here is a demonstration fixture with a 16-pin ECM and a 4-pin ECM and a 3-speed PSC motor with a quick swap V3 that can be used to replace either of these two motors. Identifying the ECM blower motor style is easy. This one has a 16-pin signal interface and a 5-pin power interface. The ECM 2.0, 2.3, and 2.5 all have this identical connector interface. This ECM has a 4-pin serial communication connector and a 5-pin power connector. Several variations of this motor exist, but if you're replacing one, just make sure it has the 4-pin and the 5-pin connectors. It is important to remember that the quick swap board that you're using should have the same connectors as the motor you are replacing. You should never need to cut off any connectors and rewire anything. If you are replacing an X13 constant torque motor with a connector that looks like this, you need the quick swap X3. A link to a video installation of that product can be found in this video's description. This side of the fixture has a typical room thermostat in the house, an air handler control board, and a 16-pin ECM motor. The first step is to turn off the power. The connectors in the ECM can be removed and plugged directly into the quick swap V3. Before actually installing the PSC motor, it is a good idea to power up the quick swap V3 and make sure that this red light comes on and stays on. If the red light does not come on, or if it is blinking, it is an indicator that the quick swap may not be compatible with your system and you should not proceed with the installation. After verifying that the red light stays on, turn the power back off, install the three-speed PSC motor and capacitor, wire the speed wires from the motor back to the quick swap V3 high, medium, low, and common, and install the temperature sensor on the evaporator coil. Apply power and check to make sure that the motor operates properly. Detailed instructions are provided with each quick swap V3 and can also be found at quick.com. Now we'll go over how the 4-pin ECM is replaced. This side of the fixture has a communicating thermostat in the house, a communicating control board in the air handler, and a communicating 4-pin ECM. On this particular system, the thermostat will show you that there's an error with the motor. The first step is to turn off power. Once again, the Quick Swap V3 board should be connected and powered to see if it is compatible before going through with the entire installation. Unplug the communication and power connectors from the old motor and plug them into the Quick Swap V3. Reapply power and check to make sure that the red light comes on and stays on. After verifying that the red light comes on and stays on, turn off power and install the three-speed PSC motor and capacitor, run the high, medium, and low speed wires in the common back to the quick swap V3 board, and install the temperature sensor on the, on the evaporator coil. Reapply power and check to make sure that the system operates properly.
When the motor comes on, the Quick Swap V3 will automatically clear the errors in the system. Advanced board configuration can be found in the instruction sheet or by clicking the link found on screen and in the description below.